Alongside the head football coach for the Texas A&M Kingsville Havelinas, Darren Wilkinson, I'm Mark and Sarah for the Havelinas Sports Network. Coach, you guys have West Texas A&M coming in here on Saturday. One of the guys we talked about earlier in the season that you seemed to really – had high expectations for was Jeff Carr coming off of a big game. Are these the kind of contributions, the type of plays you expect to see from Jeff Carr when you recruited him here? Yeah, you know, when you get a kid that's uh, made plays at Big 12 at a, at a school like Oklahoma State, yeah, you expect him to come in and, and make plays. And it's taken him a little while to to learn kind of our system. And, and you know, they are uh, primarily a zone running scheme and, and we do a little bit more man blocking. And so it's taken a little while for him to read a block of a fullback and things like that, but I think he's starting to pick it up and, and uh, do kind of what we expected. Nico Brown had a couple of big catches for you on Saturday against Angela. Been one of the more reliable targets for the for, uh, for K. Dow so far this season. What are the things you like about Nico Brown as a receiver? Yeah, he's a big target. He's, he's a big body guy that uh, go and get the football. Uh, biggest thing with Nico and, and really all of our guys is we need more consistency in all phases, you know. It, it, Nico will make a great play and then miss a block or, or run, a, run, a, run a poor route and then make a great play. So we need more consistency on all our guys, and Nico's one of them. Now, one of the players who had a big game against West Texas last season was Staley Red. I know people had high expectations for Staley coming into the season, had kind of a, has had kind of an up-and-down year so far. What do you guys need to do to get him more involved on Saturday? Well, same thing is he just, he needs to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, I think uh, a lot of our guys that were were all conference type performers last year that we expected stuff out of this year haven't uh, quite lived up to their billing. And 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 uh, you know I, I think having a young quarterback affects how Staley's playing a little bit, but he needs to be a little bit more aggressive in the run game also, and 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 be the dominating force that he has the ability to be. This is a West Texas offense has had some struggles early in the season, but they have a lot of talented players on the offensive unit. What are the challenges that, that they, they present defending them on Saturday? Well, you know, they're an offense similar to ours where they want to they want to rely on the run first and, and uh, do some play action and, and, and really kind of lull you to sleep and, and then go over the top. Uh, and, and so we've got to be able to on defense play our assignments and, you know, recognize their shifts and motions and, and the formations that they get into and, and uh, be able to figure out the plays they're running and, and get in position to make plays. You and I talked about Dalen Young on the Coach's Show on Monday, how talented of a player he is, the effects he's had, but he's obviously not the only player on that defense who has a lot of talent and is a contributor. How do you guys have success offensively on Saturday? And the biggest thing is we just need to eliminate mistakes. You know, you, you look at statistics lie all the time, and but we, you know, we average a lot of yards in the game, but we can't score. Uh, you know, it's it's we we hurt ourselves with penalties, or we we don't make the big play when the big play's there, uh, and so you know, we just need to be more consistent and and put the ball in the end zone. Well, best of luck on Saturday, coach. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. He's Darren Wilkinson. I'm Mark and Sarah for the Havelina Sports Network.